Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine, and today I'll be talking to you about why Chinese investors prefer to invest properties in Australia. First, let's talk about the rental rate of return. The rental yields in China's four major first higher cities are usually less than 3%, compared to Australia's rental yields, which are around 4 to 6%. What about legal protection? When buying a house in China, people usually go to exchange a property without professional lawyers being involved. If there are any disputes, things wouldn't turn out great. When buying a property in Australia, you must exchange through a professional transfer agent or a lawyer. This way, you are protected as an investor. What about tax concessions? In China, the investor tax rebate is very low. In Australia, some income tax can be deducted through depreciation or other intangible and tangible expenses. Let's talk about property rights now. In China, you only get to own the property for 70 years, while in Australia, home buyers will have freehold property rights. What about down payment and capital risks? In China, when you're signing a contract, you must pay 30% of the property price to the developer. So, if there is any problem, it is difficult to guarantee the buyer's funds. It's different in Australia. The owner only needs to pay 10% of the housing price to the trust account when signing the contract. If something goes wrong with the developer, the funds will be returned by the trust company. Finally, let's talk about the vacancy rate. In China, the vacancy rate is relatively high. Think about it, if it was 22.4% in 2014, it is even higher now. In Australia, the rental vacancy rate is usually around 2 to 3%. If you have any questions, please contact our MegaWart sales team. Please follow our videos on YouTube and vlogs on our MegaWart website. By the way, don't forget, please go to the free download section on our website homepage to receive free market analysis. Thank you everyone, see you next time.